behalf of the uh, Port of Savannah Propel Club, I welcome you to the National Maritime Day Ceremony. Uh, my name is uh, Hugh Lloyd. I'm this year's uh, president. I'd like to start and uh, give, give a little bit of a history about National Maritime Day and uh, what it stands for. And one of the things I'd like to point out is uh, where the ceremony is taking place. Uh, it is at the uh, SS Savannah Monument, and this monument was commissioned by the Propeller, Cl uh, by the Propeller Club and dedicated on November 18, 2004. And it's appropriate that we're here holding our National, uh, National Maritime Day ceremony at this monument because the SS Savannah was the inspiration for National Maritime Day. In 1933, the Congress of the United States declared May 22nd to be National Maritime Day. A partial reading of the official text from this resolution is as follows. Whereas on May 22nd, 1819, the steamship, the Savannah, set sail from Savannah, Georgia on the first successful transoceanic voyage under steam propulsion, thus making a material contribution to the advancement of ocean transportation. Therefore, it be resolved by the Senate and House of Representatives of the United States of America and Congress that May 22nd of each year shall be designated and known as National Maritime Day. It is at times like this we remember that those are not nameless faces. The fathers, the brothers, the cousins, the sisters, the uncles, the aunts. And they love their lives as much as we love ours. It is at this time that we recall their sacrifice and remember that our freedoms are not free, but are paid for at a very great price by those who serve. And may we always remember that it is in the service of others that we best serve you.